decaying is a sign of weakness, but in that deception alone lies its great strength. We're going to go over some techniques this morning with a personal trainer from Tampa, Nicholas. So we can hone our cane skills. And stretch. Yes. Very good. Did you have any thing you wanted to? Talk about Nick. I, th I just think what you do is is really really awesome because we, you know, obviously you're you're learning a, a, a self defense technique which is you know really important, but you're also exercising your mind and there's there's this element of just peace with this as well. There's there's something really really zen about about going through the movements of this so it's just a cool thing well that's pretty encouraging thanks nick you know what we what we do on my program is we we try to get people out of their comfort zone okay and this is certainly out of my comfort zone and it's 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 very unique in that you're you're using something that a lot of people wouldn't think about it as, as a potential weapon of self-defense. This certainly is uh, not something that I would think to learn, uh, you know, a self-defense technique with. It's, it's just a cool thing. I like that when you said getting out of your comfort zone because we, we like familiarity. We're creatures of habit. I mean, somebody sent me one of the YouTube videos, and I'm like, I gotta meet this guy because really? it is, it's it's different, man. It's it's not something that I've ever seen. You know, I've been around a lot of different martial artists and MMA people, but this is it's unique and it's cool and it's it's important too because people can learn something. Yeah, the aging population, Nick. I mean, I just blinked my eyes, and I'm now you know 69 years old. Life is a vapor, you know, it just it goes by so quick. Yeah, but keeping active is, uh, is important. So, and, uh, so uh, you're a personal trainer? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do personal training. I, uh, I make diet plans for people. Cool. I keep people active. Okay. And this, this is the kind of thing that's awesome to suggest to people because one, one problem I have with a lot of clients is they get bored just doing this. You know, lifting weights can, can get is monotonous it? and okay. boring. And when you add in elements like this, where mm -hmm. there's, there's some real technique, mm -hmm. I mean, I just got a good workout just now with this, this short little, you know, introduction to sure. it. And I'm, I'm sweating, I'm feeling yeah. it, you know, so it's, it's well. awesome. It's, it's one of those, those things that benefits people that, that want to be active, but they, they get bored with the, the regular, I want to go for a job. I love being active. It just it, it brings so much so much peace and happiness to my life. Yeah, it's, uh, peace is uh, very elusive. Very elusive. What kind of people do you generally train? I was uh, training people that uh, I was working or volunteering at seniors in service, and most of them were uh, elderly. And, uh, you know, we went over a range of motion, and, uh, whatever they could do. You know. But they, yeah, they, they enjoyed the class. We did some meditation, some deep breathing. Uh, yeah, got them. But again, like you said, getting out of your comfort zone. A lot of them had never done it before, and they enjoyed it. Something new.
I was hiking at a uh, nature preserve and I ran into this large diamondback and it was stretched across the trail. It was just, just a beautiful snake, but a deadly snake. So we're gonna try to uh, defang the snake this morning, which is breaking the knife hand. So Nick, you wanna come in? I'm gonna come in. And what you're going to do is you're going to just step back and then strike the knife and strike the pad. But I'm going to come in with just a very good. And then step back again. I'm going to come in again. Put you over the top. Yeah. Like this? Yes. Good. Very good. OK. Let's try it again. You ready? Good. Yes. Good. I like this. When you step back, Nick, you gotta really defang the snake. You gotta really come down. You're a strong dude. You know, you gotta really come down on it. Or if you're gonna move to the side, really come down hard. All right, you ready? That's good, Nick. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna come in again. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna be giving a knife away this morning. It's this beautiful stiletto made by Protec, my favorite American knife company. 154 CM steel, Macarta handle, just a beautiful knife, precision. I'm going to give it away to the person that can get the meaning of a story I'm going to be telling. And this story requires some spiritual insight. But the first person that gets the meaning of the story will get this beautiful stiletto made by Protec. There was this guy who was walking around the mall and as he encountered people, he would point at them and he would say, guilty. Then he would move on. And he encountered more people as he moved around the mall. And again, he would point at them and he would shout, guilty. And he would move on. Well, people were curious. Some were taken back and some began to follow him, thinking he was some kind of prophet. But he would encounter people, and again, he would point at them, and he would say, guilty. Well, two women went walking by, and he pointed at them, and he said, guilty. And one of the women turned to her friend and said, how did he know? The first person that gets the meaning of the story will get this beautiful stiletto.